and financially as we promised during the campaign and I say this honorable speaker because I moved around this country with the president and the honorable Dindi Nyoro our chair budget and we did indicate to the people of Kenya uh, that we shall ensure that the judiciary is financially independent and I support the judicial independence of the judiciary but it is important the chair to tell us where is this money coming from that you're increasing to the judiciary Budget and Appropriations Committee. Sorry. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. And I want to inform this House because we'll be tabling also the report of finance today evening. I wish Honorable Speaker to just raise some background in regards to what we are doing and in answering the Majority Leader, Honorable Kemani Shongwa, on where the money is coming from. Honorable Speaker, what the Honorable Majority Leader, I'm sure he knows, is that the Chair of Budget has got a pass. And the pass currently I'm operating on, Honorable Chair, is that I have a pass of 3.679 trillion Kenya shillings, which is the size of the budget that we are reading this uh, for the next financial year. Out of which, Honorable Chair, 2.57 trillion is coming from the ordinary revenue. 347 billion shillings is coming from a and &A. 42 billion Kenya shillings is coming from grant. And therefore, Madam uh, Honorable Chair, we have been able to reduce the physical deficit currently to just around 718 billion Kenya shillings. On the expenditure, Honorable Chair, we are expecting 3.679 trillion Kenya shillings, out of which 2.3 trillion Kenya shillings is expenditure in terms of the national government, which incorporates the judiciary and the parliament, Honorable Chair. And I'm sure Honorable Kimani Shongwa is attentive to exactly know where this money is coming from. Out of that, also, Honorable Chair, 986 billion Kenya shillings is the money that we have allocated to consolidated fund services, commonly known as CFS. That leaves Kenya shillings, 385 billion Kenya shillings into equitable share that we are giving to our counties. Honorable Chair, even as we ask where we are getting money to reallocate, it is important for the Kenyan people to know on how we have actually choreographed this budget. One is that we are now allocating money through value chains. We are not allocating money, throwing money into projects. Honorable Chair, on the same, education sector is taking up the lion's share of the national government expenditure because we are allocating Kenya shillings, 630 billion Kenya shillings, Honorable Chair, which is actually 30% of the entire national government expenditure. Honorable Chair, we have allocated Kenya shillings, 247 billion Kenya shillings, an unprecedented figure which we have allocated into our roads. Because, Honorable Chair, we want our roads which are ongoing to be completed. Honorable Chair, we have allocated 10, 10 billion Kenya shillings into CDF. We have actually also doubled the money that you are giving into HELP. Honorable Chair, the existing financial year, HELP had an allocation of 15 billion. We have now allocated Kenya shillings 30 billion so that our brothers and sisters who are in universities can have an easy time. Honorable Chair, also, we have allocated money for hiring of 20,000 teachers we have allocated and actually doubled monies that the PSC expects in terms of hiring in tons. And Honorable Chair, we have doubled that from 1 billion to 2 billion because we anticipate to actually double the number of in tons. Honorable Chair, this budget that we have made is the budget for the Kenyan people. And that is why we have allocated monies, 5 billion Kenya shillings into fertilizer subsidy. And Honorable Chair, even cognizant of the falling prices of fertilizer globally, that is not enough for us. We have gone ahead and actually allocated Kenya Shins 5 billion to our farmers to get cheap fertilizer. Honorable Chair, I am sure the majority leader now is well answered. And Mr. Honorable Chair, I thank you.